This is, uh... <laughs> Nick, you see this? This was with your little baby toupee. Toddler toupee. These made it possible. <laughs> anyway, we have a terrific show for you coming up. Steve Landisberg from Family Ties, Scott Valentine and his baby Trevin, actor Dorian Harewood and his baby Olivia Ruth, and a lot, lot more. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Twyla Thought Dance, imaginative, daring, bold. Twyla Thought Dance, a startling blend of ballet and bebop, cool jazz and zany vaudeville. Twyla Thought Dance, at the Wang Center for the Performing Arts, November 20th through 22nd, call 787-8000. Do you recognize me? Can't say that I do. That's why whenever I'm shopping, I bring this. A baked potato? A baked Idaho potato. What's the difference? No other potato tastes like genuine Idaho. Well, very nice. And no other potato looks like genuine Idaho. Looks the same to me. That's why you look for this. Huh. Smart young guy like you should run for office. Genuine Idaho potatoes are available at all stop and shop stores. What's behind a Graber blind? A 10-year warranty that ensures a Graber blind operates smoothly, evenly, and quietly. Decades of designing, engineering, and testing. In fact, when you consider just how much is behind a Graber blind, it's really no surprise that some of the most beautiful rooms in the world are, too. Graber. Graber quality products available at these fine stores. Real dairy foods or just glossy imitation? Don't get ripped off. Always look for the real seal. It's your guarantee of real dairy foods. Look for the seal and know it's real. My friends and I are helping the 1987 WBZ Children's Hospital Fund. There are a lot of ways you and your friends can help. You can sponsor a bake sale, a rollerthon, or even a car wash. Call 787-7295 with your fundraising ideas. back and this is my co-host Nicholas if you just join us I'm here with Susan Hemphill who's the owner of Alice in Wholesale Land one of the country's fastest growing distributors of children's clothing Susan nice to have you here tell us first of all what is this that Nick's wearing Nick's wearing puppy love it's a new trend a whimsical fun outfit it kind of looks like a stuffed animal uh -huh. <laughs> isn't all clothing that children wear whimsical in a sense you want to drink it would be nice if everything was fun also Children's clothes now are updated, fashionable, high trend. Mm -hmm. Kids look, like to look like grown-ups. How do you know, though, if you're a parent, how do you know what's popular and what isn't for your kid to wear? What's in and what's not? I think what we do is we like father, like son. You know, what you like, you want your child to look like that also. Oh, really? So they well, do... not puppy love, maybe. <laughs> but... Well, he doesn't want to wear a little coat and tie or anything like that. I think they do. I think mm -hmm. they do. Is this, is this kind of stuff real expensive, though? It's very expensive. Now, if you buy it through an Alice distributor, it's about 20 to 60 percent off. But something like that would cost about 40 up to 50 dollars in the store. 40 or 50 dollars? Okay. So all during the show now, you're going to be bringing us uh, Nick and some of the other kids will be wearing some of the latest fashions. Thanks. It should be a lot of fun. Now, my next guest is uh, a well-known comedian who I've been a fan of for many years. You've known him on Barney Miller as Sergeant Dietrich. Please welcome Steve Landisberg. Steve. <laughs> See, you're, Nikki, you're, see you're Ed McMahon. Really? This is kind of like my Ed McMahon, yeah, my, right. my, what would you say? Hey, Nikki. <laughs> How are you, Nikki? <laughs> Want to go out after the show, get a few beers? Okay, Nikki. You got away with kids. <laughs> yes, right. we, we almost dropped you on that little skate yeah, there. Yeah, That's the, yeah. uh, the practical joke. But you have your own child yeah, of your and own. The only reason she couldn't uh, come to me, she's nine months old and she's driving a truck. <laughs> she has a day job and she couldn't leave the job. She couldn't leave. 
So you have a little girl now. She just... refuses to do syndicated shows. Oh, is that it? Oh, so just first run stuff. Network, Daddy. <laughs> Has it changed? I mean, do you feel it's changed your whole way of life now? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, all of a sudden there's this little person there. And, you know, I, I was never one not to talk silly anyway, but now I find... Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't mean to offend you in any way, Nick. But, uh... <laughs> it... it it does. I know it changes. I, I had uh, dinner with a guy I hadn't seen for a long time in New York recently. And, you know, you haven't seen a guy for a long time. We were hugging each other, and I burped him. <laughs> I was smacking him on the back, and I realized later I was burping him. <laughs> Did you get involved in all this stuff? Did you go through all of the... Uh... I was involved in, uh, in everything, yeah. I was involved in the... Uh, I was there at the... What's that sound? Oh, oh that's... <laughs> another baby. <laughs> another baby. He's talking to his agent. Yeah. No, that's... <laughs> Yeah, sure. I was involved in all of that stuff, and uh, I was there in the beginning. I was involved in my wife's dreams. I mean, did your wife have crazy dreams when she was pregnant? Uh, she has crazy dreams all the time, so it was, there was no but noticeable pregnant change. dreams, my wife would, uh, one night she woke, she'd come up and she'd, she'd say, uh, she dreamt that we were burglarized, and the burglars were old Jewish men with flannel pajamas. <laughs> you know, Here, take a, stick them up, take a flannel, you know. I mean, she had the wonderful dreams, and she was, we were in Japan, she was pregnant, and, uh, she didn't want Japanese food. And we'd go to... We went to Wendy's five times in Tokyo. And I know those people were looking at us, you know, like, Oh, stockholder. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted a bagel in Tokyo. In the middle of the night, she wanted a bagel. And I said, I, we're in Tokyo, you know. And she said... So I said, all right, I'll go. I said, excuse me, this is uh, Landisburg. Do uh, uh, you have any bagels? And you hear these guys, Bagel. <laughs> we also had that Japanese style room. They have uh, beds in the wall, futons, and they put them on the floor every time you want to lie down. And my wife was tired. She was pregnant. We were wandering around. So every time we wanted to lie down, you'd call downstairs and I'd say, um, hi, this is uh, Landisburg again. Uh, could we have the, uh, the futon? And again, you'd go, Rensburg, sex maniac. <laughs> Futon, 55 times, you know. So now, was the baby born in Japan or was born over here? Baby was born in Finland, actually. No, the baby, <laughs> baby was born in Atlanta. In Atlanta, I was living in Atlanta. Uh, I married, uh, my wife was a, uh, produced a commercial I did, a uh, rider truck commercial. Sure. And we did it in Atlanta. And then I you got a lot of sounds here. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, the guy in the audience very sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a good show this is. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, where are we going next, Merv? <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> uh, get your throat lozenger. Uh, so, <laughs> where so, we? Oh yeah, we're in Atlanta because uh, I did a movie down there, which will be released in, I believe, 1998. Uh -huh. But. Uh, we did the movie, and my wife was seven months pregnant, so we stayed down there, and uh, uh, we got married in Atlanta, and uh, my wife's people were there, and uh, my people from New York, and my wife's people were walking around going, oh, isn't this festive? It's just so precious. Look at those balloons. Let me just make your heart flutter. And my guys were, hey, Marty, where's the shrimp? <laughs> we had a southern rabbi. I mean, you know, we're in Atlanta, and I grew up in New York, and rabbis, to me, were guys who would say, all right, you'll get married, you Not in my middle of my life. <laughs> Have you heard this, this story? <laughs> That's all right, Nicholas, any time you <laughs> My kid does the same yeah. thing. Pay attention, pay attention. Pay attention. A southern rabbi. Southern rabbi. <laughs> now, you, now you, Nicholas. Southern, southern rabbi. rabbi. Ah! <laughs> southern rabbi. Uh, guys, we're in his chambers before the wedding. Mm -hmm. He looks at me and he says, So why you want to marry her? I mean, it was like, <laughs> sorry, right? I was used to guys doing, hello, but, uh, but the baby, uh, does, does Nicholas sleep? Yeah, he sleeps through the night. He's pretty good That's now. That's great. He gets up beer, mine too, because, and, and the doctor says two beers doesn't harm him, you know. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, do you, you, you now she's starting to wake. We had her on the road for six weeks. Mm -hmm. I would, uh, I was doing jobs and, uh, what is it, Nicholas? Don't you like the show? He wants it's the way crack. daddy makes a living. There you go. This is all, you know, this could be your future. This could be your future, the co-host. No, just uh, sitting in a high chair at KTLA. <laughs> I mean, but when you're when you're now when your baby cries in the middle of the night. Wait a minute, he's got a phone call. <laughs> when my baby cries in the, in the middle, middle of the night, night, do you jump up out of bed or do you let the wife? For some get up? strange reason, I, I'm usually asleep. 
Uh-huh. And my wife... <laughs> No, she doesn't, but that, we're lucky. She doesn't get up in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Although, i got to say that since we've come back, we were on the road for six weeks, and uh, we visited uh, family and friends, and I would go out and work, you know, and, and the baby's sleeping patterns have changed a little, so she is waking up. It's not distracting at all. No, not it? to me. <laughs> all right, I tell you what, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more of the show right after this. Don't go oh, away. The Nick Schreiner show. Steve and I will talk to the pediatrician after this. Come right back. It happened so fast, I couldn't believe it. Jimmy just fell right through the glass. Gosh, he was cut bad. It's a good thing the hospital had enough blood or... After that, I started giving. Because, hey, you never know when somebody could use a hero. All done. Give blood now. It's the easy way to be a hero. For the donor center nearest you, call 1-800-922-HERO. Ground, ground, great me. It's my steak place. Ground, ground, a great deal. It's our family place. Ground, ground, my ground, ground. It's our lunch place. Ribs, ribs, and more ribs. Save a dollar on great rib combos like steak and ribs, chicken and ribs, and more. Irresistible at a dollar off. Ground, ground, my ground, ground. It's our game place. Ground, ground. For ribs, make it your place. The BZ Morning Team and Dave Maynard are practicing teamwork. It's a piece of cake. With Robert Parrish, Gil Santos on sports, Gary LaPierre with the news, Joe Green's airborne traffic reports, and Elliot Abrams' AccuWeather. Hey, how's the weather up there, Chief? <laughs> foul! Oh, what do you mean, foul? Foul? Foul joke. Okay, it's one free throw for the personal foul. I didn't mean it personally. You yeah. are. The BZ Morning Team with Dave Maynard. Okay, you made your point, Robert. On WBZ Radio. The man's a basket case. When Mass Electric said they wanted to wrap up my electric water heater, I said, where are you taking it? They said, no, you don't understand. We want to wrap it with insulation. So I said, hey, I wasn't born yesterday. What'll it cost me? They said it's free. So I let them do it. Now I'm saving money. If you're a Mass Electric customer, they'll wrap your electric water heater free, too. <laughs> You'd have to be born yesterday to turn this offer down. My next guest knows a lot about how to baby your baby. Say hello to our resident pediatrician and Nicholas's doctor, Dr. Peter Shulman. Peter, right. good to have you here. You know Steve? Yeah, yeah we met. Right. 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 Girl and boy. We'll so see now it. we're both new parents, a little more experienced, but what are some of the biggest mistakes new parents generally make? The biggest mistake that I think parents make is to get, they get one with a new baby, they tend to get excited. Despite our inexperience, babies uh, grow up anyway, uh, despite our... Uh, uh, inabilities as parents, they uh, and our failings as parents, they grow up to be adults. So they're just going to grow up on their own. They seem to, and uh, <laughs> uh, most of them do. Uh, just think of it this way: parents a lot stupider than you have raised babies successfully. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. No, <laughs> thank you. No, I, I think that's true. Sure, yeah. Now, what are some of the dumb, common misconceptions that parents have? There are thousands and thousands of misconceptions about babies. Uh, one of the big ones is you can't. Take, uh, people think you can't take a baby out, I think, out of the house until he goes to college. And uh, that's just not true. You can, high school age, you can high, start. Yes, even junior high school with some hardy types. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, you can actually take a baby outside uh, when, pretty much when you go home. There's no, nothing more dangerous about uh, outdoors than indoors. Well, we see, we were told for the first three months, don't go out of the house. When did you take your baby out of the house? Uh, we took our baby out for the first time. She's nine months old yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we had her flying. Had... No, we had her flying. Uh, we've, we've In been... a plane. Yeah, we've <laughs> had her flying for the last six weeks. We were on the road with her. That's no problem. The only thing the doctor said about the beginning, because we asked about mm. flying, uh, uh, was don't go there right away because of germs. The airports are full of germs from a lot of people. Yeah, what... For the first couple of months. And don't put her in a luggage compartment. And don't... That... <laughs> 
We did forget her a couple of times. We left her in different cities. <laughs> that, new that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. She... You stole them in the overhead rack? That's okay. Yeah, that's what I do. I put them under the seat. If yeah. they're little, they fit right under the seat. Now, what's it, but I always heard this thing about when you're flying with ears, like the baby will cry because there's pressure on the no, ears. No, they cry because they're bored and uh, they make other other passengers crazy, but uh, most of the time it's not that big a deal. Yeah, if, ours has been terrific. Right. It usually, it usually is. Up till six months, it's relatively easy to travel with a baby on a plane. Yeah. And uh, if they're fussy on the way up and down, you can give them a bottle, but uh, it's a myth that you can't fly with a baby. We've done it many times. Yeah. yeah. So you break them in. You say if you break them into doing all this stuff. Yeah. What I would start used... with is uh, short, like helicopter rides. Work your way up to little mm -hmm. propeller planes, and then the big ones. Start with a single engine. <laughs> the single engine. Oh, I see. But today you're here. You're going to show us a couple of fathers how to bathe the baby properly. Yes. Most babies, I think, in America are still bathed by the mothers. These mothers do have their clothing on. Yes. Remember that. Uh, all right. Well, they're bashful. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Well, the first thing with bathing the baby is not to put the head under the water. That's the first thing. We need a doctor for this yes, kind of information? Yes, and I hope to tell you that kind of information. First of all, we're not going we're gonna, to we're uh, uh, take off this baby's clothes because, no. uh, you know, the Catholic Ooh. people... Okay, so we what's the way to hold them when you put them in? Well, basically, it depends on how old the baby is. If the baby's six months or older, sometimes those babies are sitting up. And you can get a little seat that the baby sits in and uh, that has a little belt around it. It's got how, old do you think, how old do you think these are? These babies are about 14 <laughs> years old. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sickly children. Just put them in like this. <laughs> You can do this, Dad. So, I've already done it. So you need one of these little specialty gizmos, yeah, right? Yes, or you can do it in the regular bath when they're older. Uh -huh. Now, people are afraid that they shouldn't get the ears wet. That's right. a myth. Water can go oh, in the ears. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, kid. So you don't have to worry about... Daddy, stop it! <laughs> so you don't have to worry about a little water in the ears? A little water in the ears no. does not cause ear infections, contrary to popular belief. The middle of the eardrum protects uh, the middle ear from... Uh, from water getting in it. So you can get water in the ears. I'll show you. This kid will not get an ear infection. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, I'll make money if he does, that's for sure. <laughs> and it'll come to me more. No, it's not true. Babies uh, do not get uh, ear how, infections from... Uh, how, often, how often do you bathe your baby? Four times a week. <laughs> is no, that, every day. We, every day? Is, yeah, that the right, is that the right amount? You don't really have to. For instance, a newborn. A newborn is not going to be out there running the marathon. A newborn is not going to get all sweaty and dirty. Uh, every other day is fine. Every third day is fine. One of the common Every six weeks is fine. fine. Right? They get a little rank, and then, <laughs> then relatives don't come over and visit. So it yes. works out well. So, <laughs> that's, that's a fun. Okay, uh, so, so now you got them in here. Right. Is, is there, if the baby's sick, is that a problem? Don't no, bathe that's a, one of the common, common misconceptions, that you cannot bathe the baby if your baby is sick or if your baby has a fever. Uh, bathe them in chicken soup? Would that be... Uh... <laughs> so, right, if it's a Jewish baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, yes, <laughs> you're okay. You can bathe the baby if he's sick. There's no reason you can't bathe the baby. Contrary to popular belief, drafts do not cause disease, despite what your mother tells you. Close the window, she'll say to you, because she's afraid that the draft will come in and infect your child, mm -hmm. and that is not true. So you don't have to worry about the house being real hot when no, you're in the baby? No, no. Uh, I've gone into, uh, seen many babies, in particular in New York, in the winter, and uh, the temperature is about 912 degrees, and you're sitting there sweating, and the kid's sweating. You don't have to keep the house any warmer or any colder uh, for a baby than you do for yourself. Okay. All right. Now, well, you got them in here. You, well, you wash them around, then Hopefully. you take them out. Yeah, they're, ma they're myriad products sold for baby skin, and uh, there's so many soaps and ointments uh, uh, that you can use on the baby. Some are uh, better than others. Am I permitted to say the products that are good for the <laughs> All right, Oxidol. Oxidol is good. Bleach. <laughs> uh, Whatever. Anything, Gen you know, generic stuff. Right. Anything like that. There are some products that are better for the baby skin. But like what? Uh, very mild soaps that are not irritating. Mm -hmm. so, and so then like there's, a, there's some non-soap soaps. All right. So you wash the baby off. You can do a sponge bath or you can have the kid sit in the bath if he's older. And then after you've done that, it's a good idea to dry him off. So you dry him off with a big towel. Right. Yes. We have some big towels here. Okay. Well, we know he's not really that wet. Mine no. is. Mine. <laughs> I can just ring this kid out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, what do you do about powder? And is there is there like a special kind of powder you use? Again, the uh, the uh, manufacturers of these powders will make you believe that a baby skin will uh, will uh, fall off if you mm. don't put the powder on. That it will get infected. You don't really need powder on a baby. In fact. 
uh, there is a kind of powder that I am going to talk about that is not good for babies, and that's talcum powder. Talcum powder. Mm -hmm. Talcum powder is out. Talcum yeah. powder is a product that's very dangerous for babies. Not Why so is much, that? Not so much for their skin, but because uh, uh, one of the worst single ingestions I ever saw was a kid who put it in his mouth and uh, squeezed it. It's oh, badly really? packaged, and it gets in the lungs and is uh, practically in, uh, impossible to get out. Okay. So, uh, 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 cornstarch powder is fine, unnecessary, but fine. There's uh, many diaper ointments that are... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what discipline. I did to my kids. Discipline. That's right, we got these What kids. I used was matchsticks under the fingernails. <laughs> that worked real well. All right, Peter, as always, you're always a pleasure to have come by. Thank you for this information sure. about bathing. We will be back with more of the show and Scott Valentine from Family Ties with his son, Trevin, right after this. Thank you. Thank you. city, any town. Temptations. Dead ends. Danger. Mean streets. Where kids can run into trouble. But there's a way to beat the streets. The Boys Club. Where are you going, Alex? Nowhere. Come here. This is Edward James Olmos. I found a way to beat the streets when I joined the Boys Club. Today, more than a million kids at over 1,100 Boys Clubs across America are beating the streets, doing something positive with their lives. For them, the Boys Club is a friend. Kids need the Boys Club. We need your help. Support your local Boys Club. America, here's your musical. Winner of seven 1985 Tony Awards, including Best Musical of the Year, Big River. Look out for me, old muddy water. Don't mister me. Big River, let it carry you back. Let it take you home. The funniest things happen when people watch The People's Court. Before I turn it on, tell me the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right, dear. Why are you so devoted to The People's Court? It's more than the great cases. It's that silver-haired charmer. It's Judge Wapner, isn't it? Remember, you're under oath. Counselor, there's only one man I go to court for. Rusty. Get involved with real entertainment on The People's Court, weekdays at 5 on TV4. My next guest is known to millions as Mallory Keaton's boyfriend on the hit show Family Ties. And like me, he's also a new dad. Please give a nice warm welcome to Scott Valentine and his son, Trevin. Scott. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Trevin? God, he was just talking up the storm outside. He, now, he's how old and what's, and, uh, eight, uh, what did you say, 18 months? No, he's, uh, 17 months, three weeks, five days, and almost 12 hours. Could you be a little more specific? <laughs> a little more specific. In about 20 minutes, it'll be done. You're done? You're done with us? Okay. Oh, he's, he's really talking. Well, now, what's he wearing, Susan? Is this uh, another? He's wearing, um, 100% cotton flannel tuxedo. One piece, very versatile. Mm -hmm. Perfect for the Will Schreiner show. Uh -huh. Now this is kind of plain. I mean, Nick, Nick, are you ready with your new outfit? This is kind of really Nick. And Nick is going to make him look. Nick, come on, Nick. A little mink coat? Yes, this is what you call upstaging in fine style. <laughs> <laughs> now, now who? Oh, you want the mink coat back? 
I'm setting a bad precedent here. It's a full-length mahogany fur from uh -huh. Ron Lee Furs in New York. Only the best for Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> that now, who would buy that? Who would buy a fur coat well, for their kids? Your wife that. just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Nick, thanks for dropping by. <laughs> ah, no, is that, is that a... Is that... <laughs> there he is. Oh. Look out. Okay, come on. Uh, so this is a little like a little old tuxedo for formal attire. With, with tails. Uh -huh. Perfect for your Hollywood <laughs> entertainment events. No, no. Now, now, Scott, would you dress your son in something no. like this? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah? Uh, probably my wife would. We just got him a leather jacket, I was telling you. A fur line, it's got fur on the inside, and when he rubs the fur, he says, monkey, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Trev. He knows it's a real thing. Now, is it fur or is it a monkey jacket? No, it's, uh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> well, you don't want to get me in trouble with the uh, ASPCA here. This is, this is your first, right? And you have another one on the way? This is the first. We've got another in the oven, and... Uh, <laughs> Explain and, that. Uh, <laughs> People just panic. <laughs> the microwave, it works great. You take the... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, my wife is five months pregnant, and we just learned from the doctor last week that it's going to be a boy. Uh -huh. But on this one, he was saying it was going to be a girl, and as we see, it turned out to be a boy. So Same doctor? The same doctor. <laughs> you know, and he didn't even show it for the delivery either. He, he sent some other guy in, in clogs. I, you know. It's so, you know it's so, were you there for the birth? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? The doctor comes in and your wife is like, they've got her, you know, in a doggy position, then over on your side, and she's like, oh, oh, and he's like, leans on the bed, and it's like... So, how are you? How are you doing? You know? And um, it was a trip. You were there for the whole thing? Oh, we were there in the whole thing, and we took the Lamaze and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. did, did, yeah. did you go through all that? Well, yeah, we went through the Lamaze, which all went out the window <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Hi, bud. Well, we better watch these glasses. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, he's got a gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a toy. How about this? Oh, Which yeah, it's this? a choo-choo. Now, do you spend, choo -choo. now, working on the show, do you have time that to spend with, it, with him? It's, do you take him to work? Yeah, I've got one of the best situations for an actor because, you know, we don't have to go into work until 10 in the morning, so I get to get up with him from 6 until 9 or whatever, and they've got a great daycare center at Paramount where we shoot it at, and uh, I take him to work with me three days out of five mm -hmm. uh, so I get to spend a lot of time with them which is which is real good you know because my parents they had four kids within five years and it was my mother was going crazy with kids <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my dad was always off working on construction so that was a big thing for me when I was gonna have kids I wanted to make sure that we spent a lot of time with them and um, you know God willing that my success will continue and it'll just enable me to spend as much time with him you wanna get down and join and him? Now. now Trevin's a weird name what, what is that <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, it's an unusual name. Yeah. Uh, no, now, Will, you know my wife. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's a crazy girl. I Hot. Is it hot? You see the tires? Yeah, the tires. I'd come home from work and she'd have legal-sized pieces of paper, uh -huh. bigger than this one, with a name about that big on it. <laughs> monkey. Yeah, monkey. <laughs> and, uh... The sheet of paper would be covered with names about an inch long, and we're talking a five-syllable name, all fit within an inch. Are you okay on that? Come on, on this way, Nicholas. You know they say that only the woman, the mother, should decide the name. The mother should pick the yeah, name? because the mother can feel the true vibrations of the child. Coming from... Mm -hmm. Now, I see... You, you guys be cool over there, all right? <laughs> uh, Nick! <laughs> <laughs> He's very particular about what kids he works with. Right? Yeah. Come on, Drev's an easygoing guy. <laughs> Nick, we're doing a show out here, Nick. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Hi, Drevin. So now, is, is he is he particularly gifted that he has a, a large vocabulary for 18 months? He's got about 350 words down. Mm -hmm. um, is that, he's, he's just. Is that unusual? Well, they in a lot of books, which they may be a little bit antiquated, they'll say they should have. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like a little, a little blabbermouth in a way. Yeah, he is. Such as, uh, hey, Trevin, can we find Trevin? What's this? What's this? No, no, no. These are oh, those are candies. We don't want to look at those. What's, What's this? that? You know what that is? Okay. Yeah. Airplane. Okay. That's pretty good. Airplane. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what. <laughs>
We'll take a break. We'll be back with Dorian Harewood and his baby, Olivia Ruth, right after this. Don't go away. A sale of the decade. DJ Hancock Furniture, one of the finest furniture stores in the Northeast, is going out of business. Over two acres and three million dollars of furniture. Save 20 to 68 percent off formerly offered prices on beautiful living room sets, quality dining rooms and dinettes, stylish bedroom sets, deluxe mattress sets and waterbeds. Brand names like Broyhill, Lane, Bassett and Sealy. Going out of business. DJ Hancock Furniture, off Route 1 at Manhattan Street, Norwood. Major credit cards and financing accepted. Open seven days. I've heard a lot of talk about calcium lately, but I just found out that doctors using OSCAL showed that supplements can provide the calcium your body needs to help maintain strong bones. OSCAL, scientifically proven, doctor recommended. Sometimes the price of a good time is heartburn. Fortunately, Gaviscon works like no other leading antacid to form a soothing barrier between you and heartburn. So if it works like a dream at night, just imagine how it works during the day. It's a land of history and faith, full of ancient sacred mysteries, a country of color, culture, and contrasts. From desert Bedouins, to a world-famous swimsuit designer, to a living time tunnel with 3,000 years of artifacts, Israel is a nation of promise, graced by the past. Explore the Holy Land with Evening in Israel, a special edition of Evening Magazine, starting Monday at 7.30 on WBZ-TV4. Si tú crees que estás en algo, entérate de esto. Uno de cada cuatro casos reportados del SIDA han sido de personas que comparten agujas o aparatos contaminados. El uso de droga intravenosa ha contribuido a la transmisión del virus de SIDA entre hombres, mujeres y recién nacidos. El 80% de los infantes nacidos con SIDA, ambos padres son adictos a las drogas. Pregúntate, ¿crees tú que valga la pena? Nuestra responsabilidad es educarnos. Emotional consideration provided by The future is here. A DuPont nonstick so advanced it lasts twice as long as Silverstone. At Silverstone Supra, look for this DuPont certified seal. Really chocolatey chocolate milk doesn't come from a chocolate cow. It comes from Hershey. The chocolate people. Step. Come here, Nick. Hey, watch the step. Watch the step, Nick. Maybe. Come back. Hello there. We are back and... Uh... Bedlam is here because the children are loose on the set. Well, my next guest, besides being a father, is also a wonderful actor. You've seen him in Roots. He played the title role in the Jesse Owens story. He's currently working on a new series for television. Please welcome Dorian Harewood. Dorian? Now, are you ready for this? You're, you're lucky because she's still not walking. Yeah, yet. she's just uh, seven months now, and she kind of crawls around, and then she tries to pull herself up, and it's kind of a dangerous stage because they, she, she pulls up, and then she falls over, and you know, it's, we're, we're running around the, the, the living room like this the whole time. <laughs> yeah, once they start walking, you got to run oh, a lot faster. Yes, yes. Now, she's um, Olivia Ruth. <laughs> Olivia Ruth, yeah. She's, she's a good-looking little girl. Yeah. How did you, you pick that name? My wife's mother's name is Ruth, and my mother's, uh, both of our mother's middle names, oh. Olivia and Ruth. So that way you yeah. keep them both happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Neither one of them would get too upset. Is this, this your first child? This is our very first. We've been together for 13 years, and we decided to... <laughs> now, 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 why did you wait? Because Steve just got married and had a child. We, uh, we decided uh, to have a baby. We were a little early. I mean, she was a little unexpected, but we were planning on having one at the beginning of next year. And then like six months later, six months later we had a little baby. So I guess we just thought about it and it kind of happened. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> but, now, uh, but for the first 13 years, we were, we were getting to know each other. We were, we were in love. We were having a relationship. And, and we just weren't ready to have a baby at the time. You know? And then the time came when we... It's all individual, obviously, you know, as everyone here has had uh, babies at different times. We just felt that now was a good time to do it, and uh, we went to work and we did it. 
and you did a good one here. And how do you? How's it affected your life? How's it changed your life? Uh, well, I'm sure everyone, everyone's already said this, but I, I haven't slept a day since. I haven't slept a day since she was born, and before actually. Uh, well, it's, it's just. Uh, people don't realize that in the middle of the night they get well, up. Everyone tells me that. Everyone says. Well, you'll never sleep again. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> they are absolutely right. But it's, it's all breastfeed? worth it. Yeah, she's she breastfeeding. You see, that's all you got to do is you get up at night and you yeah. plug them in and then you go back to sleep. Well, see, the thing is, I mean, I, I, I do what I can, but I mean, when it comes to breastfeeding, I just... <laughs> She yeah. does. She's. She doesn't really like the way I breastfeed so much. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, it's it's just great. I mean, it's a totally different life. Uh oh, but it's it's all very very positive. I mean, uh, these are really the only miracles that you can really look at and see. I mean, yeah. you know, oh, it's great. I mean, there are there are miracles and there are things that are around us that we can't really grasp, so we don't really believe in them. But when you look at little kids. No matter what kind of little kids they are, they're all little miracles. And that's sure. what she is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read you a little a little bit. She may like this better than my jazz song. <laughs> I like this that's better the than the jazz song. <laughs> and the Yeah, the kittens. Look at the kittens. Oh yes. That's the kitten. <laughs> I do this. I've been doing this. Seemingly all my life. Now. <laughs> These are the cows. Moo, moo. Anything to keep them I had no idea you did impressions. <laughs> oh, boo. Oh. Now are you a real soft touch? She's she's at the point. Uh, I I'm not I'm not as soft a touch as my wife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I'm a pretty soft touch, I guess. With the she is at the point. I guess once again it's all individual. But she's at the point when at the point now where she has to go to her mother. I mean, she's, she looks at me, she says, get out of my face, where's my mom, you know. She, with anyone else she's around, she'll, she'll be nice to them as long as her mother's around. But her mother's, she can't find her right now, so she's, she's kind of looking, I think. Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll take a break, <laughs> we'll find mom, and we'll be right back with more of the show after this. Don't go away. Plenty of kids. At last, the brick has caught up with the world of technology and design, and less is more. New England Brickmaster introduces its revolutionary U.S. brick system. Half-inch, rock-solid, kiln-fired clay bricks that can be custom-installed by our skilled craftsmen in much less time and for much less money than thick brick. Thermal insulation keeps heat out in summer and heat in during winter for lower energy bills. Call now to turn your home into a show place you'll never have to paint again. Beautify a boring interior with the elegance of real brick. Give your business a look which will attract new business. Architects and builders can dramatically cut masonry costs and installation time on new construction. Less really is more with the U.S. Brick System from New England Brickmaster. For a free demonstration and free estimate, call 1-800-228-6606 now or look us up in the yellow pages under Brick. Super fries from a cane for the strong, silent type. There are some things a kid doesn't want to talk to her parents about, or her teachers, or her friends. Sometimes she needs a big sister, which is why organizations such as Big Sisters exist. And which is why Pam Moore of WBZ Channel 4 not only reports on the problems of kids growing up, she also helps out as a big sister to LaToya Cromartie of Dorchester, Massachusetts. Hi there. 
We're back. My next guest is the creator of this tape called Baby Dynamics. She's here to teach us how to teach our babies to exercise. Please welcome Linda Weston. Linda, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. So, why do babies need to exercise to begin with? Don't they get exercise on their own? I know he does. Well, they do. Actually, motor skills are not just acquired, but they're learned, just like reading and writing. So it's really fun to do the exercise program with your child so that you can really help them develop all the major motor skills. Okay, what age do you start working with them? You can start with babies right after they're born. You can start massaging them and then gradually leading up, adding little exercises until you're to this age and doing some of the things we'll do today. You mean if you do exercise right in the delivery room? Uh, well, a little after that. <laughs> oh, okay. So... An hour or two. <laughs> An hour or two. Okay, so what are we going to do today? What exercise are you going to show us? Well, I thought we'd start with eye-hand-eye-foot coordination today. Okay. So the first thing that we'll do is work on kicking the ball. So if you will hold your little one. Okay. Sure. Put your hands. Let me show you. Put your hands right, right under your child, right around their okay. tummy. And we're just going to swing right like this. And if we're kind of in a semicircle here, we'll kick the ball back okay. and forth. Now the trick is, as the ball comes to your child, you say... Kick. Ah. Kick. Kick. <laughs> Kick. Jump in, Trevin. Go for it. <laughs> Here we go. Well, this, seems, go. Like right, right. this yeah. seems like we're getting all the exercise Kick. in this. Yeah. Well, that's true, too. Yeah, playing. Kick. 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 Kick the ball. Kick. Next, oh. are you? Now, once you... He's starting to do it. That's it. Summer song. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you've, once you've accomplished that step, the next is to ask your child, come here, Nicholas, let's walk up and just kick this ball. Ready? Okay, kick, kick. Good one. Oh. All right. All right. Now, the next step, Will, if you'll hold Nicholas, I'm just going to roll the ball to him, and I'll say kick. Get ready, Nicholas. Ready? Kick, kick, kick. Good one. Ooh. Good one. Oh, boy. Good. Here it comes. Ready? Kick, kick, kick. Good yeah. one. Good. The whole idea is if you say kick to get them ready and prepared, then they're watching and they're they're ready to kick. Here, you ready, ready Nicholas? One, two, kick, kick, kick. Two. Yeah, good one. Olivia Ruth, you ready? Good. Okay. Okay, Olivia. Let's see. Here it comes. She'll never kick it from here. Here it comes. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, what else can we do? What? What's another All exercise? Right. Yes. This is a great little exercise for eye hand coordination. And what we'll do, can you, Trevin, can you tap that ball? Just push it back and forth. Hit it. Yes, good. Hit it. And it's good. Straight. Uh -huh. Stuck. What happened? It's great for their eye-hand coordination, uh -huh. and you can actually watch their eyes tracking. I do this with my... <laughs> 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 They're tracking something going on. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. So... And if all else fails, it's a good hypnotic. Did you, did you develop this on your cat first? Yes, and, uh... yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. You gotta... All right. What's the balance being for? Maybe we should try that. Sure. That... Bring the Let me bring this in. This was interesting. Now, this is to develop their balance? This is for balance and perception. Okay. And... You just got to throw them right on there. And... Well, actually, <laughs> no. When they, when they start walking... Uh-huh. Help them right up on the beam. Uh-huh. Now, one of the, the common things is you parents try to hold, hold the baby's hands up high to get them to balance. What you want to do is first get them comfortable. There. And then, <laughs> see if you can get them to do Nick, we have another kid right behind you. You don't do this. <laughs> a little step. Whoa. Oh, so he's, he's, is it too Watch young? No, he's... Watch your toes. Trevin, you're Just... too soft. That's it. Whoop. Watch your toes. Just getting used to it. That's Watch it. Watch your toes. That's it. Scott, you're holding him exactly right. And then just Watch your toes. encourage him. Watch your toes. And this, you, should try, you should try this even at seven months? No, no, no. You need oh, to. Okay. With, <laughs> have a, have a, have a, <laughs> Dorian, I want to see your yeah, crawl right across. Crawl across. Seven it. months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Now, can something be dangerous some exercises? Is there a danger in certain exercises? Well, sure. You, you need to follow a program that, that's safe and, yeah. and you need to know what you're doing. That's why the Baby Dynamics tape is, is a good one to follow. It's sequential and it builds, it follows your child's age. Um, you build one skill on the other. Mm -hmm. so, so nothing, is there, there's not a pattern in terms of as the child gets older in terms of what to work on the next, next, yes, next. Yes, there is. Oh, there is. There's a definite pattern. Good. Great. Right. Well, good for you. All right. Yeah. yeah. In fact, Scott, stay down there. Tap your fingers like this, and we'll walk down to you. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at Trevor. Yeah. Nick, do you see this? Very nice. Good. Yeah. yeah. Now, are there games that uh, you can play with the kids to sort of get involved yourself? <laughs> yes, there are lots of games. If we pull this parachute out, we can play oh, a game that... This is fun. I like yeah. this. <laughs> All right. That works on stop and go. Okay. So let's just pull this out. All right, pull this out. And we're just going to ask the babies in this <laughs> one. <laughs> Nick, this is your first static line jump. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> now, this is one that'll, that Olivia can join in with uh -huh. us. What we're going to ask the children to do is just walk on the parachute. Walk on the parachute? And then, then we, like, flip them up real high? Well, not quite. And <laughs> 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 we're going to ripple the parachute. Nick, you want to get in on this? And she can just crawl, absolutely. And we'll just ripple the parachute and ask them to step on the bubble. <laughs> oh. Good. She loves it. <laughs> oh, this is a popular one with the kids. <laughs> now, the next step with yeah. this... <laughs> now, the next step is to work on the stop and go concept, uh -huh. where you'll say, bubbles go, and you'll start the bubbles going, and they'll step on the bubbles, and then you say, bubbles stop. Bubbles. You stop the bubbles, and they're supposed to freeze. Didn't they do that well? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We will be right back with more of the show and more of the babies after this. Don't go away. The Will Schreiner Show is brought to you by Nuprin. Discover the medicine in these yellow pills. I went to my dentist with the worst pain. He told me about a different medicine. It's in these little yellow pills. Nuprin. Works so well on that pain, no wonder it's great on my awful headaches. Nuprin. It's not aspirin, not Tylenol. It's ibuprofen. So effective, two Nuprin stop headaches better than extra strength Tylenol. And Nuprin's gentler on my stomach than aspirin. Nuprin. Little, yellow, different, better. It even worked on my worst pain. I'm the world's biggest skeptic. I was at my sister's house for the weekend, and I'm the first one up. And I'm dying for a cup of coffee, and she's out of milk. All I can find is coffee meat. I'm skeptical, but without my morning coffee, I don't function. Turns out I had one of the best cups of coffee ever. Rich and creamy. So good, in fact, that by the time my sister woke up, I was on my third cup. Coffee made from Carnation. Don't doubt it till you've tried it. Sears Portrait Studios present some great new faces. Faces captured by the photo experts at Sears. Through Saturday only, get this $16.95 portrait package. It's the last time for this offer before Christmas. So if your family has a great new face, Sears is the place to take that face. There's more for your life at Sears. Mom's homemade pie. Now. in a fresh homemade pie that doesn't hunger for the fresh homemade taste of Cool Whip. Cool Whip. One fresh homemade taste deserves another. For 100 years, log cabin syrup's rich maple taste has brought something special to the family breakfast. The family. Log cabin. Making breakfast since 1887. Promotional consideration provided by... Some nonstick cookware only looks like silver stone, but it doesn't last like silver stone. So look for this seal and don't get stuck. 
Three guys. It's Count Fleming. Any pipe, any place, any price. For clogs at their worst. Oh, it's for you. Call Liquid Plumber first. If you want sweet pickles made from country recipes, just try new Vlasic Country Classic Sweet Pickles. Look for them at your local supermarket. Which swab has 50% more cotton right at the tip? Q-Tips brand cotton swabs, because a swab by any other name just isn't the same. Oh, it's a great day, Nick. Aren't you glad we have this time together to walk in the park, talk about all of, well, life's serious questions. More than just what's in my hair, but... But you gotta think about other things, Nick. You gotta think about marriage. Have you met a girl in play school you like? Is there a girl that maybe does something with blocks that kind of gets you worked up? One day you'll want a Porsche. You can't even say or spell Porsche right now, but there's an E at the end, but it's silent. But you'll want these things. You'll want to fall down and you'll say, Dad, I can get back up and I can get that Porsche if you'll just give me the down payment. And I'll say, forget about it. You'll start with a Volkswagen like all the other kids. Oh, don't give me any back talk now. It's too early. Life's a struggle. It's slippery. Getting to the top. It's not that easy. Sure, you may slip and fall, and it may be all uphill. But once you get there, that's what makes it worthwhile. You want law. Do you want medicine? How about architecture? Do you like to build things? Have you thought about the arts? Who do you like to read? Do you like Dr. Seuss? Or have you thought about the classics? Moliere, Chaucer. Have you read any Poe? Do you like the Szechuan or the Thai when we go out to Oriental restaurants? You gotta think about a lot of things. Blood pressure, cholesterol, you know, are you eating the right thing? There's a lot of items that come in column A that don't come in column B. And the thing you have to think about is how important are the items in B as opposed to A, or do you want to just go a la carte? Well, now you're laughing. This is not a joke. This is serious information I'm trying to get across. <laughs> Who do you see in the Iowa caucuses? But come back here. I have more to tell you. This is probably the most important thing I can tell you about your future. It's called financial planning. Can you repeat after me, financial planning? Think about KEO, IRA. Do you have any questions about this? All right, now, Nick, we're going to talk about human sexuality. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The birds and the bees. Aren't you interested in this? You don't want to talk about the birds and the bees? You're just going to walk away? You'll come to me one day and say, Dad, you had the answers. You had all the answers in an ice cream cone, and I didn't listen. Kids, you try to give them advice. They just don't care. I don't know. I tried my hardest. What more can I say? Well, listen. Why don't you listen? Anyway, we're back, and we thought we had a couple of minutes here. We'd ask Dr. Stolman. We had a couple of questions. We get some free pediatric advice. Uh, oh, no, it's not free. I'm charging <laughs> you for this. Well, we have girls and we have boys here. Is there a difference you see in babies between girls and boys? Well, well there's an anatomic difference that I hope you know about. Yeah, but, I think so. All right. Boys generally are more active than girls. When I, In the previous segments, you saw the boys running around. The girl before, at least up, up until now, was pretty good, was sitting on, her, on his dad, her dad's lap and just sitting there, and he was reading her a book. A boy would have eaten the book rather than allow you to read him the book. My wow. daughter eats books. Does she? <laughs> yes. I hope this, this is, is my adopted child. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps now we know why you didn't bring your sorry, child. Tom. <laughs> At what age should we start toilet training? Uh, the average age is about 18 months to, to two years. Uh, uh, before that, you really can't have any success. In certain cultures, I just read where in China they start toilet training them about a year. What they do is they put a hole in the diaper and then they and then they put them on a potty and they're trained by 15 months. That's in China. No, 40 months. 40 months. <laughs> But they only eat Chinese food. What do they know? Uh -huh. Now, what's, what's the best thing? I mean, we talk about feeding. I mean, is, is there any particular healthy things you should feed a child? Um, you try, especially after a year, to have a balanced diet. Uh, good luck. Uh, boy babies, I think, are poorer eaters in general than girl babies. A girl baby will sit there and just eat and eat and eat. Boy baby will run, be running around the house uh, uh, playing with things like this, uh, like this little boy here. Uh, you try for a balanced diet. You can't do it. You're like 99% of the parents in America. Uh -huh. oh, okay. My daughter doesn't eat. Your daughter doesn't no. eat? No. Yeah. She's now starting to eat table food. She, was, she wouldn't eat baby food anymore. Yeah. She's not. But the good news is they all grow yeah. uh, even without eating. She's got chubby yeah. cheeks. Yeah. yeah. Well, she was, a, she was a breastfed baby or... or yes. 
Here, let me show you. <laughs> You're awful sore there. I go <laughs> no, she was, yeah. 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 Often the, the breastfed babies have real chubby cheeks in any case. Yeah, really. Okay, well, we're out of time. I want to thank everybody who is here. Steve Landisberg, thank you so much thank for being you. here. Dr. Peter Shulman, Scott Valentine, and Dorian Harwood. Dorian, thanks a lot. Thanks, uh, Trevin, Oliver Ruth, Nicholas. We'll see you all tomorrow. I want to thank Susan Hemphill and Linda Weston with Fashions and Baby Exercise. That's our show. Bye-bye. If you'd like to attend a taping of the Will Schreiner Show, send your ticket request to the Will Schreiner Show, Post Office Box 7800, North Hollywood, California, 91608. Remember to tell us how many tickets you need and the date you'd like to attend. Shows a Charles Colarusso production and a Bonnie Burns production in association with Group W Productions.